What is up you guys and welcome back to Joel's Kitchen. I really appreciate everybody who showed me love on my last video. Today is Taco Tuesday. You already know how we rocking. We make a carnitos tacos, a Mexican tradition meal. But before we do that, roll that intro. If you know me, first things first, gotta have a pair of gloves when you touching any kind of food product. I mean, I know we at the house is our food, but I'm on camera, so you're gonna need one stick of whole cinnamon. You're gonna need one tablespoon of Mexican oregano. It has to be the Mexican guy. You're gonna need one tablespoon of crushed peppercorn. You're gonna need nine to 10 pieces of whole clove. You're gonna need a tablespoon of fine sea salt. You're gonna need one tablespoon of thyme. You know, don't waste time. You're gonna need a teaspoon and a half of paprika. You're gonna need some whole garlic, about eight, nine pieces. You're gonna need three bay leaves. No, we ain't making gumbo, folks. Calm down. Two and a half pounds of carnito cut pork. Big stock pot in front of you. You wanna add that meat to that. You wanna add the garlic, then the thyme, then the paprika, then the whole clove. A little bit of that Mexican oregano. A little bit of that salt for taste. A little bit of that peppercorn. Hands. Work it, baby. Work it. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep going. Keep going. You smart. You loyal. Major key is to keep your hands in a circular motion while you work the meat. You smart. Another one. And another one. Until everything is finely coated. I know you're thinking, what now, Joel? Add two cups of water to the meat. So once you add the water, you're gonna get that cinnamon stick and you're gonna throw it right up in there. That's gonna bring out flavor. Then you're gonna add three bay leaves. And then you're gonna cook this for two hours in a pressure cooker or two and a half hours on the stove. So after two hours, your meat and broth should look this way. If it's not that brown color like this, and if that meat doesn't look like it can be pulled apart by you just touching it with a I don't know, with just touching it and pulling it apart, then yeah, we got a problem. You didn't follow the steps. So right now is a great time to get you a strainer and just kind of strain that extra juice that's left. And you can keep that for a beef broth or any kind of broth, whatever you want to use it in, some soup or something. But yeah, you just want to strain it out. But don't strain all of it out. Keep a little bit in there so that meat can stay a little juicy when you get ready to make your tacos. See how that looks? That's that beautiful juice. So now, after you've drained all your meat and you got it out, you wanna get some forks and just kinda like pull it apart. Not too much. And not too little, but like keep it in chunks because it is for tacos. You don't want a pulled pork taco. You want to call you the taco. You want it chunky. You want it chunky, chunky. And if it don't pull apart like that, it's not cooked right. So do not say, Oh, Joe, I didn't show me how to cook a taco right. I don't want to watch this channel no more. He don't know what he's talking about. Don't do me like that. So now it's time that we plate everything up. You know, get your favorite size. You know, 
I like everything on my tacos. I'm not picky. Um, cilantro, a little bit of white onions, you know, a little bit of those ramen tomatoes. Avocado, you gotta have some avocado. A little feta crumble. And bam, you gotta add some of those reddishes to it. Like, it, it brings out flavor in so many ways. People don't understand that, but it does. And thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate you. Make sure if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and tell the world about Joel Kitchen. From me to you, much love. Signing off.